this week's episode of the Noob Gold Challenge, your step-by-step -step guide to making gold on a new server. Gold Challenge is sponsored by Catapult and Tape Recovery Simulator 96K. Developed by Caffeine Withdrawal Games, Tape Recovery Simulator 96K is a game focusing on recovering data off reluctant old tapes. Features include enjoy using a real simulated tape player with all the proper buttons, audio tapes holding data with multiple degrees of corruption, rediscover the lost art of loading data off tapes, work and suffer for a pittance as an employee of EES with an absurd boss and semi-impossible tasks. Discover and assemble stories, fake art, real art, conspiracy theories. Everything is sprinkled with lots of plain old insanity fueled by EES's boss. 8-bit applications and mini games waiting to be recovered, repaired, executed, re-executed, and re-re-executed. The 8-bit look, feel, and simplicity we all crave. Turbo tape loading speeds up to 1.6 kilobytes per second. Mock advertisements. No cutscenes, skippable, or unskippable, or otherwise. And the tried and true and tested eye care advice for the player. Thank you so much for to Catapult and Te Tape Recovery Simulator for sponsoring today's episode of the New Gold Challenge. Now let's get into the gold making. Quick confession to make, I have been playing a lot of Icarus this week. I haven't been playing a whole lot of World of Warcraft. We still got a good week for you, but everything is basically unchanged with the alts and leveling. I haven't done any leveling. I've done been working on professions, but that's basically it with the alts. On the auction house, we have 457 posted auctions worth about 5.1 million gold. And we have three more sales coming in in the last hour. Even though I haven't been playing that much this week, we still have 222 sold auctions. The first 100 coming in at 78,000 gold. Now, the Mage Tower with T Legion Time Walking is not really something that I was interested in when it was first announced, but man, I'm glad they added it. It has reinvigorated the game, or at least a lot of the gold-making economy that uh, that has been a little bit slow for a while now. So let's get into the sales. Right away in our first 100, we have Corthite Crystals from our 9.1 farm that really made a comeback it has for the last like three weeks these potions are just something i was doing to level up my alchemist uh, we got some legion herbs in here legion herbs are really fantastic right now i just made a guide that is coming out this weekend uh, for that sumptuous fur is basically for free from our drain or garrison make sure you are have watched my drain or garrison gold making guide living steel from pandaria uh, this is used to make sky golems, which I normally like to craft a sky golem, but on this server, the living steel is actually more profitable to sell on its own than to make the sky golem, so that's what I'm doing there. Um, Spellfire Oil is a legion um, gem, so that's pretty cool. That's That dropped because of legion time walking. Got some Shadowlands materials in here. Trillium Bars. Again, I am selling the materials instead of waiting to craft Sky Golems because on this server it is more profitable to do so. Got some other just random materials in here. Embroidered Deep Sea Satin is a material we get on the side from our tailoring bag flip up on the channel. Nice Borean Leather sale from our Dragon Farm in uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, here's another bag flip in here, some cooking flips in here, more living steel, a feast, uh, Draenor mana potion. I was experimenting with uh, Warlords of Draenor alchemy to see if there's a gold making opportunity there. I still am on the fence about that. Here is a crafted gladi dreadful gladiator satin robe. This is a Pandaria transmog, titanium ore from our usual winter grass farm. Some Shaw le touched leg armor from Pandaria Leatherworking. Okay, this is where things get interesting. Shaw crystals. This is this the price on these is like 10 to 20 times higher than normal because of Legion Time Walking. So we got a very nice sale in there for that. 
A uh, sack of spectral spiders is from our year-long Hollow Zen farm. Now we have a couple more transmog items in here. Cold Snout, Gloves of the Aura, and then another Crafted tra Dreadful Gladiator. This one is um, Chain Armor, I believe is from Leatherworking. And then we have another Bag Flip, more Shaw Crystals, our usual Elixirs of Giant Growth, more Potions from Leveling Up, Alchemy, yet another Crafted Dreadful Gladiator piece of gear. These things are selling like hotcakes right now with time walking going on. Some more Trillium Bars, Fell Iron Ore, more potions from Leveling Up Alchemy. Um, another trans, a couple transmog sales in here, a couple more bag flips, more alchemy flipping, and elixirs of giant growth. Uh, another very nice transmog sale in here, and a big nod hide leather sale. So, yeah, the transmog market has really picked up with Legion Time Walking. So, we're going to open up this first hundred and look at what we've got next. Our second hundred auctions is bringing us in another. 55,000 gold. And we've got another nice sale of Corthite Crystal. Here is another very nice Transmog sale. Nether Bloom from our Nether Storm Dual Gathering Farm. Twilight Jasmine from our Twilight Highlands Farm. Uh, Arcane Crystals. We got in um, Swamp of Sorrows Whiptail from Bull Doom. Another mine, couple minor transmog sales in here. Um, nothing else real big. Another huge Corthite Crystal sale. I'm spending a lot of time farming up these Corthite Crystals lately. I, I'm really happy the price on those finally came back. Got a Battle Pet in here. Another Crafted Dreadful Gladiator piece. The Leather Helm this time. Uh, Rus Rustian's Ruminous Drape. Another very nice transmog sale for 8,000 gold. We're killing it with the transmogs this week, but transmog doesn't sell. Transmog doesn't sell. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just had to. Uh, okay, that wraps up this hundred. We'll open it up. Oh yeah, we got some phadrium, phadrium ore here. That is from Shadowlands as well, and we'll see what we got left. And our remaining twenty-two auctions are giving us another thirty-six hundred gold. So we got another living steel cell sale, another small couple small transmog sales. Finally, a goblin gun sold. That's from leveling up our Pandaria Engineering a couple months ago now. More shot-touched leather leg armor. And just some other random materials in here. Some cooking. Uh, nothing too exciting. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and get our grand total. Our grand total for the week is... 136,000 gold. That's pretty darn good considering how little that I played this week. And that brings our total gold on hand up to 2.45 million gold. Guys, we've got some fantastic gold making opportunities coming up soon. Uh, we've still got Legion time walking for a few more days. And then we've got Feast of Wintervale coming soon. So make sure you are subscribed. I've got a bunch of guides coming out for you guys to take advantage of. Feast of Wintervale is maybe my favorite gold-making uh, holiday. Uh, maybe Hollow Zen, I'm not sure. Um, last year, on my low population server, I made um, over half a million gold off of Wintervale. So I think we can beat that this year with the new gold challenge on a high popular ser population server. So make sure you are subscribed so that you are getting all those videos when they come out. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can hit the join button below. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week, and we'll see you tomorrow for a gold make.